Ksenia Mia Bregelovsky, it's 3 of 3 p.m. on the 14th of July. Uh, another video communication on my hostage situation here in Vaughan, Ontario, Canada. 106 Moncalm Boulevard is officially a private jail operated by the RCMP, Canadian Intelligence Services, in collusion or on itself, um, collusion with the North American Intelligence Services uh, from the, the southern border neighbor. Okay, so I am currently sitting here. I'm unable to get any essential services. I'm unable to get myself uh, normal qualified doctors. I'm unable to get myself normal qualified dentists. I'm unable to get a home improvement uh, uh, slash home repair company. All of my online and phone communications are tampered with. Okay, I am talking to some central uh, intelligence uh, bureau that's answering all of my phone calls and essentially postponing or denying me services for second year right now. Okay, for 17 years I was sitting here in Canada, being um, have been undermined, have been harassed, discriminated, and uh, removed from normal operation of society. I've been hijacked as a child in Uzbekistan. Okay, in the mid 90s. Uh, my father was uh, essentially distanced, uh, distanced himself from us for whatever reason. Okay, my mother was um, uh, my mother's health was undermined in a very crude way. So she is infected with a sexually transmitted disease. Whether it's cured right now or not, I have no idea. But I lived with her when she was infected. Okay, and no one told me about that. This is Canada, Ksenia Mia Bregelovsky, born Ksenia Filinova. I do not have access to normal services. I do not have access to society. The Bank of Nova Scotia uh, stole money from me. It financed a private jail, which I was put into for lack of choice back in 2010 when I moved away from my mother and her spouse, okay, to get myself my own dwelling slash housing, okay? So I was put in this detention, which is 106 Montcalm, uh, place of crime uh, for all it counts, for all the vandalism, trespassing, searches without consent uh, and uh, uh, harassment that I've experienced in the past 13 years on this location, not to mention 10120 Young Street in Richmond Hill. I am currently, I repeat, I'm unable to get any services because whoever I call, whoever I contact online, uh, the communications are either banned, rejected, uh, deleted, and whoever I'm talking on the phone, uh, is a central intelligence bureau, so to speak, okay, for lack of a better term. I was answering all of my phone calls and denying me all of the services. I am unable to do anything. I'm unable to move. I'm, I'm unable to breathe. I'm unable to live here in Canada. I cannot, for fears of being deleted from servers, as I was already, okay, I was deleted from servers. I was unable to get uh, my uh, vandalized car repaired. I was deleted from a server. Uh, for a fear to, to be deleted from all of the databases, I cannot leave the country because I have nowhere to go back to. I repeat, I was trafficked, I was lured, and currently all of my communications here on the phone are being tampered with, okay? I am not uh, able to seek any services. Um, it goes as far as I, when I went to the Bank of Nova Scotia headquarters in Toronto, I was again... Uh, I spoke with, or I was uh, effectively connected to um, some lady who spoke to me like I was an imbecile, okay, about some Russia-Ukrainian food or whatever or whatever, okay. Um, not to mention that they defrauded me on the property and they stole my investment savings, okay. I, again, I'm sitting here, I'm being a hostage, international community, UN, uh, whatever, I have no choice, but um, again, either sit here, I was screaming on the street, on my street here, that I am a victim of human trafficking, abuse and ethnic cleansing, and no one paid any attention, any attention, I was called an idiot, I was told to go back home, which I don't have, uh, so everyone is ignoring me on the street, uh, all of my online and phone communications are being... Um, effectively filtered through some central office that's playing uh, an imbecile game with me, um, giving bullshit excuses, writing bullshit policies. So I was hijacked as a child, 
and my entire life was hijacked in this way. Uh, for the past 17 years here in Canada, I was kept in um, uh, some filtering station, okay? So I was denied jobs. I was not able to get a normal job. All of the jobs that I would uh, be getting would be the kind of jobs that um, uh, foreign nationals and immigrants would land. I'm denied any opportunities to provide for myself and all opportunities to lead a normal life that including uh, forced sterilization, that includes ethnic cleansing, that includes uh, bodily harm, uh, attempted manslaughter, uh, just to name a few. Uh, denial of medical uh, help when um, I was in a critical situation health-wise, uh, when I required immediate attention like to be able to breathe. I was denied all of that. I was denied life, right? It's a 17 year detention here in Canada. And I was hijacked as a child. I repeat, I was hijacked as a child in the 90s. Okay? Um, again, I'm unable to. I'm unable to resell my house for how it was vandalized. It's a place of crime right now. All the bu bullshit, bogus phone calls I'm receiving from Gowling, uh, YLG, who purport to be lawyers of uh, the Bank of Nova Scotia. Okay, claiming that this uh, property is worth one million dollars. Okay, um, all right. So all the uh, bullshit phone calls that I'm getting from auto body shops that are denying me services. Uh, police in action, complete in action, complete in action. I'm reporting being a, a victim of trafficking, and domestic abuse, sexual abuse, extortion, fraud, uh, bodily harm. Uh, that someone is uh, surveilling and filming me without my knowledge and someone uh, has searched my property and vandalizing my property and trespassing and nothing is being done. Nothing is being done. The Bank of Nova Scotia, this is a national federal institution, defrauded me on my life here in Canada, on the property. I was denied all rights. All rights. For whatever reason, for whether it is that my... Mm, Passport says that I am from Uzbekistan, or that uh, I am uh, ethnically Slavic, or that my mother is uh, infected with a sexually transmitted di uh, disease in her brain, okay, so that's from oral sex, either forced or consensual, I have no idea, but I was not uh, given any information or opportunity to defend my health and my rights whatsoever. I don't have any means and opportunity to defend my rights and uh, health right now. For Again, all of my communications are being uh, sifted through, monitored, and uh, uh, rerouted to central office that replies to me with their bullshit excuses of why not and why I, I can be denied, why I can be, um, you know, attacked, but I cannot be uh, able, enabled to seek normal services. This is my state. This is a private jail I'm in, sponsored by the Bank of Nova Scotia. And the RCMP, in collu collusion or on itself with the um, U.S. intelligence uh, agencies who are effectively banishing me from normal life, banishing me from uh, seeking and uh, getting essential services, and just denying me life, denying me life. This is a video communication directed to International Criminal Court, uh, United Nations, uh, to Interpol. Please take me out of this situation. I don't have any means and uh, defenses at this point to uh, withhold or to sort of um, uh, withstand the onslaught of attacks perpetrated against me, and that includes technological, communal, societal, well, uh, with RCMP influence. And RCMP, for some reason, all those intelligence agencies, they, see, uh, they think they are gods, they can uh, sort of uh, uh, control and ma manipulate lives of others, which it is not. You do not have such rights to do that, okay? You do not have right to control my life. You do not have... Uh, um, right to attack me you do not have a right to deny me life you do not you've hijacked me as a child and you are now banishing me from normal life by communal technological societal and financial means 
Ksenia Mia Bragilovsky, born in Filinova, December 13, 1984. I repeat, I am currently in private jail without any rights or means to get myself out of it. <laughs>